Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about an important topic in statistics called measures of central tendency. Now we'll go into the session. Today we'll see an important topic in statistics, which is measures of central tendency. For any given data, measures of central tendency focuses on the central value of the particular data. It, there are three different measures of central tendency. Uh, they are mean, median and mode. Mean, median and mode are the measures of central tendency. <clears throat> Again in mean we have uh, arithmetic mean which is the most popular one. Then we have geometric mean Then we have harmonic mean. Now let us understand each of them. First we'll see about uh, arithmetic mean. So the definition if x1, x2, x3 and so on up to xn means there are n observations or n observations <coughs> then its arithmetic mean then its arithmetic mean denoted by x bar is defined as x bar is nothing but sum of all the numbers or all the observations divided by the number of observations. So I can write this as summation x i and this is number of observations so it is small n. Here i is ranging from 1 to n. This also can be simply written as sum x by n. So we may notice that it is nothing but a simple average the above is nothing but a simple average of n observations. Now let us understand about the next one, which is geometric mean. <clears throat> Again, if x1, x2 and so on up to xn or n observations, then its geometric mean is defined as
gm is equal to nth root of the product of product of all the observations nth root so and then product of all observations so let me write the product which is x1 multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 and so on multiplied by xn whole thing to the power of 1 by n because it is nth root <coughs> This is the definition of geometric mean. Then comes harmonic mean. If x1, x2, and so on up to xn or n observations, n observations, then its harmonic mean is defined as HM is equal to number of observations divided by sum of sum of the reciprocals of the observations so what is reciprocal it is nothing but inverse so this is number of observations so it is n will be there in the numerator sum of the reciprocal first observation is x1 reciprocal of that will be 1 by x1 second observation is x2 reciprocal of that is x2 plus and so on then the nth observations reciprocal is 1 by xn so we can write this as n divided by summation i equal to 1 to n 1 by x i right so this is harmonic mean now let us understand all this if there are frequencies involved, how do we find the arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean if frequencies are involved? Frequencies means the number of count, how many counts. So let us see that. If x1, x2 and so on up to xn or n observations occurring with occurring with frequencies f1 f2 and so on up to Fn respectively means x1 is occurring f1 times x2 is occurring f2 times and so on xn is occurring fn times so if x1 x2 and uh, sorry x1 x2 and so on up to xn or n observations occurring with frequencies f1 f2 and so on up to fn respectively then 
its arithmetic mean is given by is given by x bar is equal to so you will be giving a weightage of the frequency to that observation means f1 multiplied by x1 plus f2 multiplied by x2 and so on fn multiplied by xn the whole thing divided by sum of all the frequencies this can be written as summation i equal to 1 to n f i into x i divided by summation i equal to 1 to n f i or this can be simplified as this is equal to sum fx by sum f. Further, it is simplified as sum fx by sum f. I'm sorry. Uh, sum fx by capital N. By capital N. Where capital N is sum of all the frequencies sum of all the frequencies so we may notice that this is nothing but a weighted weighted average we may note that the above is a weighted average of n observations wherein wherein the frequencies are considered as frequencies are considered as weights <clears throat> similarly we can also have for geometric mean and harmonic mean let us write that if x1, x2, and so on up to xn or n observations occurring with frequencies f1 f2 and so on up to fn respectively then it's then it's geometric mean is defined as defined as geometric mean is equal to x1 to the power of f1 multiplied by x2 to the power of f2 multiplied and so on xn to the power of xfn whole thing to the power of 1 by k 
capital N, where capital N is sum of all the frequencies. That way you calculate geometric mean for a frequency distribution. Then next you will see how do we do it for harmonic mean. If x1, x2 and so on up to xn or n observations occurring with frequencies f1, f2 and so on up to fn then its harmonic mean is given by harmonic mean is equal to capital N. So in the non-frequency, if there is no frequency, it would have been small n. Now here it is capital N divided by, sorry, divided by 1 by, sorry, over divided by F1, F1 by X1 plus F2 by X2 plus and so on plus Fn by Xn. You may notice there is some similarity between the previous one and this one. Here, instead of 1, because it that time this x1 was occurring only once, that is why 1 by. Whereas now x1 is occurring f1 times, x2 is occurring f2 times. So all this 1 is getting replaced with the corresponding frequencies. And this smaller n is getting replaced with the capital N. Means all the frequencies are considered. So this can be written as capital N divided by summation I equal to 1 to N Fi by Xi or this can be simply written as N divided by summation f by x when you whenever you write the summation f by x generally the summation is considered for n values that is why you can simply write like that also again i will say that capital n is sum of all the frequencies So we had seen now, how do we calculate arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean if there is no frequency involved in it. And we had also seen how do we calculate all those three that is arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean if frequencies are involved. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.